Okay, guys, so we have some really exciting news today on the immunotherapy uh, cancer front, especially when dealing with uh, advanced stage breast cancer uh, in women. This is extremely exciting for them because this immunotherapy, what it does, it basically works similar to how a vaccine will work, where it uses your own immune system. It also eliminates the need to have any type of uh, chemotherapy or radiation and things like that. I mean, they may use that uh, with it, but the great thing about immunotherapy is you can you can eliminate all those side effects. Now, of course, immunotherapy was used in the glioblastoma arena, uh, and it, it's had mixed results. They were very, uh, very optimistic about that in the glioblastoma area. However, that is that it seems to come back and have uh, they don't they don't know. You know, they're 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 still in that stage. The same way with this one, obviously. But this is the first time that it's actually been treated. Uh, in the advanced stage of breast cancer. This lady was a, an engineer from Florida who originally had, uh, she was 49 years old and had and was given three years to live. That's right, three years to live. So that, you, you know, if you had three years to live in this, in this immunotherapy uh, target and, and now you're, uh, you're living life. I, I think in the article it said she, uh, she was out walking after this therapy, she had and did a 20 mile hike. So yeah, she has her life back, uh, thank God. You know, a lot of the uh, a lot of the scientists are also skeptical as they should be. You know, with any of these uh, immunotherapy drugs, you have to be skeptical, especially after the uh, glioblastoma uh, aspect of it. And I, and I don't necessarily think that the scientists ever were not skeptical. I think that the media blew it up bigger than what it was, and with that, the the. Uh, <laughs> You know how the media works. They get things up and going while the scientists are sitting there saying, hey, we never we never blown this up more than it is. <laughs> you know, scientists are just skeptical by nature, and that's good. They should be. It's uh but I'm extremely excited. Uh you know, unlike with, with HIV, which there just keeps being uh one thing after the other, they they think they have something and then it turns out to not be because the thing about HIV is if you don't know this, it's a reverse transcriptate virus. Reverse, tr- reverse transcriptate virus is extremely hard to uh, combat and to find an actual vaccine for. They can give you anti-reverse transcriptate drugs to uh, slow that process down, but it's hard to uh, it's hard to combat that. It's very extremely hard to fight that type of virus. Um, but yeah, so this lady, forty nine year old engineer, had advanced stage breast cancer and is now doing uh, twenty mile hikes. I think that's really exciting. Uh, as far as the, as a nurse goes. So what does this say? How does this relate to you being a nurse? You know, the, the thing that you need to realize is that it's important as a nurse to stay skeptical. I bring this up about skepticism uh, and not, not hardening your mind in the way things are. Not, don't always believe your patients on what they tell you. You know, look at the lab results. The lab will usually lead you to the right direction. Uh, and, and, you know, in, in nursing care, there's always this psychosocial aspect of it. You know, you need to you need to have therapeutic communication, but you also need to be a little detective out there. You need to be asking questions. You need to be trying to find out what the actual, uh, especially in the triage aspect. If you're in the, in the uh, ER and you're triaging, you know, you need to be a detective. You need to ask these questions because patients are always going to tell you something else that's not necessarily true. There's been countless times where I've had patients that have uh, told me one thing. And it's completely different, you know. Uh, how many beers did you have? Uh, only had two. <laughs> really, your your alcohol level over two hundred uh, speaks differently to that, you know. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so I just uh, wanted to give you a little bit of news on the uh, on the uh, I guess cancer related front. I'm I'm extremely optimistic about that. I think that's going to be a uh, the future of cancer research, cancer treatment, everything to do with cancer is going to be based around the immunotherapy aspect of it. So I'm extremely, extremely excited. All right, guys, I just want to give you a quick update and uh, I will be, I'm actually working in the ER tomorrow. So maybe I'll get a video up before then. All right, guys, take care.